So, uh, hey y'all. <clears throat> How's it going? I am Joy, and welcome back, finally, to our Pokemon Leaf Green Soul Lock. Now, you may be saying to yourself, hey, weren't there two other Mons on this layout to the right? Yeah, there were. Uh, just, uh, take a look at what happened. I should have switched to Phoenix. So, with that in mind, we have a new team that we've added in. We have Gollum, Golem, whatever you want to say, and Sneasel. So, let's go through our team, take a look at the new ones first. I did a lot of grinding, so... That's primarily what took so long. So first up, we have Achu, level 49, a Sneasel Hole in the Smoke Ball. I'll get rid of that before I go we'll face Giovanni. With the Cacophony ability and the moves Icy Wind, Faint Attack, Quick Attack, and Screech. Now I chose um, Achu here because I figured he'd be a good Dragon and Psychic counter. I didn't realize how absolutely fragile he was. <clears throat> he was, rather. So... Oops. But I, I, you know, I still think that was a good choice, so let's see. And then we have slashing our docile natured Gollum, also level 49, with the Vital Spirit ability, very, very tanky, with the moves Earthquake, Dig, Rock Blast, and Defense Cool. Then we have Phoenix, our relaxed Blaziken, holding the Lax Incense with the Speed Boost ability, and Blaze Kick, Rock Smash, Double Kick, and Strength. His mate is our level 49 tube, tubit, <clears throat> our Starmie holding the deep sea tooth, hardy nature, own temple ability, surf twister, confuse rate, and swift. He'll probably be my dragon slayer, to be honest, but I wanted to get something anyway that would pair well. Um, it would give me good type diversity and all that, so that's why I took Sneasel. Then we have our Level 49, Nido King, Sudan, Sassy Nature, Holding the Lax Incense, with the Shield Dust ability, uh, Sludge, Horn Attack, Leer, and Double Kick, and then our Ace, that I'm calling the Ace anyway, our Level 49 Ampharos, Holding the King's Rock, named Sparks, Hardy Nature, Water Veil ability, Spark, Thunder Punch, Smelling Salt, and Thunder Wave. Um, my TMs were kind of not that good. Um, one more thing you might be wondering. You have a legendary ice type in the PC. Why didn't you just use that? Well, good reason for that. I put him in um, daycare, actually, which I should have thought of before I came here. But anyway, um, he was a careful-natured Articuno, which didn't pair with anything that I have. Um, So, let me just take a quick look just to make sure I wasn't being stupid. Uh, Corky, so I need a careful or a timid. All these serious natures, jolly jolly, lax, modest, docile, hasty, quiet, rash, lonely, calm. Yep, so... He wasn't able to pair with anything, and I would rather have two Mons than just one. So, let me take a quick look at my TMs just to make sure that there's nothing I can teach that would be helpful to me. And then we're good to go take on Giovanni, I guess. Alright, Hydro Cannon, but it's a two-turn move, which I don't like. Sky Attack also, Focus Punch. Um, executed last, flinches if hit beforehand, not good, submission, has recoil, don't like it. Icicle Spear I gave to uh, Sneasel while I was training, it wasn't that good, and then it learned um, Icy Wind, so I figured, let's just go with that. Double Edge has recoil, that's a two-turn move, that's a two-turn move, that has horrible accuracy, 
Um, it might be good for my, my Nido King now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I could give it like a bunch of X-accuracies, which might actually be a thing to do. Iron Tail. Who can learn Iron Tail, actually? Two-bit. Or Achoo. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, Thrash and Gust I would just get rid of. Blaze Kick I've already got. False Swipe is really good for catching mons, but I don't have any others. Um, Thief is, you know, just as good as Fan Attack, if not worse. Uh, Will-O-Wisp is just status. Sweet Scent, stupid. Double Slap, Poison Gas. Giga Drain, I wanted to save for my Grass type. But, I mean, I don't have a Grass type right now. Um... <laughs> wow, really? Slashing can learn Giga Drain. That's interesting. Um... So I could do that, but how much is his defense? Because he's going to be in there for a while, while I build up the accuracy. It's only a 90, it's not ideal. I probably I would get rid of a horn attack for it. Hmm. I never use X items, but I might actually have to on this one. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode, I think, or at least a, a lax episode. Um, just because I just now realized that. So I could cut it, but... I'm not going to. Let's go buy some X-Accuracies. I have the money for it, I should anyway. Yeah, I have enough money for that. So let's do that real quick. Um, I need a Celadon, please, slave. Oosh. Tell me again. Not where I need to be. Alright, what do you sell? Alright, there we go. Raises accuracy stat of Pokemon in battle, wears off if it's drawn, but it doesn't say how much it raises it by. But I guess we'll give it a shot anyway. Leftovers to hmm. No, I'm gonna save leftovers. I'll put it on um on what's his face? Achu. He has very low HP and defense anyway, so hopefully that'll help. What am I doing? I should be selling things. Okay, now, um, also, I'm gonna hang on to this. Max Revive. Um, my friend... Ray told me that it's kind of the, the punk way to do things, but I'm gonna leave that guys that up to you guys on whether or not I'd be allowed to use it 
And if I am, then I have no problems in uh, reviving Groudon and Gengar again. But... I mean, until I know. It makes no sense. Do I need any of these? No, we're good. No, I don't want to sell my experience shares. That'd be stupid. I have nine of those. Give me... Six more. Just to be safe. I don't need any balls, because all I got is Victory Road. I can do that later. Okay. So let me go ahead and fly back. Grab Achu out of the box. Get in there. Thank you. Slave away. Right, you have 114 HP. That's still the least that I have, so let's go ahead and give you leftovers anyway. Special defense stat. Um, what is your special defense? Well, I'm here. 97, so it's already higher than your regular defense, so I'll go ahead and give you leftovers just to be safe And everybody's got items soft sand to power up earthquake and dig and We are going to put Phoenix up front like we usually do Keep our pairs together And it is time to take on Giovanni and hopefully not die. I am nervous beyond belief. Oh, wait a minute, there's trainers in here. I assumed it was all just him. Well, I don't have to face you guys, but I just face you. I drop you down, go back around. Okay, well this will be good training, so I might be over leveled, but oops. Alright, let's just see what you got. Lightly tough. I am so over leveled for this. Oof. It was almost one kick and you were down, okay. Well, this is gonna be a bit of a longer episode after all. Good. The Axis. Glass Cannon. Um, tell you what, your Glass Cannon can meet mine. Because you're a Psychic type and I'm a Dark type, so we should be fine. What level are you? 37, okay. So, Faint Attack. Super effective, did nothing. Why is my attack stat still bad? Okay, that's your reason. Now let's go for a physical attack. Oh, I thought this said Wonder Guard. And of course you use a Hyper Potion. Of course you did. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda panicked there for a second, but we're good. Iron Defense, okay. Jeez. Hi, Zeptos. How are you? Fine, I hope. It's a, it's a drizzling Zeptos. That's that's nice. One of my favorite legends with Bristle. Nice. Let's Rock Blast. You use Detect. Okay. Bye, Mark. Good to see you. Catch you later. I lot it. Okay, that is a job for Sparks.
Oh, freak, now I'm confused. Okay. There we go. Good boy, Sparks. Good boy. Dragonite. Okay, this is where... <clears throat> now do I test it with you and see how you do, or do I just go to 2-bit? I, I have to test it and see if I'm gonna be effective or not, because if not, then this is a very bad decision. To have brought you out. I could have used somebody else. But we'll see. Icy Wind. Ten levels higher. What kind of damage are we looking at? Okay, that's not bad. And your speed fell, which is, of course I did. And you just froze it again. Sharply at that. Okay. Oh, good thing I have a priority move. Oh, that did nothing. Oh boy. Okay, that's fine. We're fine. <clears throat> Alright, that was decent. That actually raised up by seven. That's good. I need to move you down so I can go up there. Credit King. I'm trying not to face too many of these because I'm pretty sure that his level is 50. I should probably check on that. Why did I use Blaze Kick? Alright, cool. That works. of War, that's a psychic. So let's try Achu. Alright. Faint attack. It's good that I'm so fast. It's really helpful, actually. What if I do about half damage? Oh boy, you're calm minding. That's no point. No. But I mean, I'm I'm nine levels higher, so I should be fine, right? This isn't gonna kill because it's a special move. Yep. All right, you're going for it again. That's scary. This should be able to kill. Full health. You're already weak. This should be able to kill. Thank you. Swampert. Oh no. where a grass type would be really helpful right now. So I'm gonna go to 2-bit for that. And just hope for the best. Do our part ground. I don't care if you identify me. I'm still gonna surf you to death. Sparks could use a potion, just in case. Alright, take me away. Alright, double checking real quick on his gym levels before I face him. It's just in case I need to train up in the gym. Okay, yeah, he's gonna have a level 50 as his ace. So, one, two, three, four, one, two. He's gonna have five mons with 50 as his highest level. So we should, in theory, be fine. 
Um, I like the idea of leading with a speed boost. So... That's what I'm gonna do, and just hope. Hope for the best. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to his former glory, but we have found me again, so be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. I am legitimately scared. I'm slightly underleveled. Typically, I like to be at their level, but oh, okay, that's a Metagross. Hi. <clears throat> okay, Psychic could hurt me, but let's go for Blaze Kick. Okay. Electrode. Splody boy, how you doing? Let's go for her slashing. Oh, you're ace already. Okay, well, let's get the heck out of here. Just in case you want to explode on me. Go ahead and try to kill yourself now. Nope, okay. Great. I'm tanky enough to hold it, so we're good. Alright. Add a girl slash. <laughs> Alright, champ. That's not good for me. Um, Tubit should resist fighting since he's part psychic, so let's go to that. Hi, Joey. How are you? Let's just confuse you a little bit. Alright, good. Cool. Nice. Uh, Twister and Flinch, maybe? It's not the most powerful of moves, but if I can get the flinch, I got the flinch. And surf it. Oh, not enough. Hit yourself. Oh no. Okay, not very effective. I'm so glad that I switched out to you. Of course you did. Ugh. Alright, that crit definitely mattered there. Good job, Tubit. Good job. Minute Drick. Okay, that's another job for slashing. We'll probably just Earthquake it instead of using Dig. Because then, I mean, there's no risk of him exploding, so... There's Earthquake. Fight. I... Poison type, I'll stay in the slashing. <sighs> Truly an intense fight. And I have won. Here's the Earth Badge. Yay! Okay, good. Eighth badge hype, five thousand dollars. Awesome. Of any level obey without question. Evidence of your mastery. With it you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, please take this. What is it? I already <sighs> what, what does it really have? Because it can't possibly be worth like again. Mirror move? I don't want that. I, I don't want that. I'm, I'm good. Okay, well that wasn't nearly as scary as I expected it to be.
and he's been defeated. Yay. Alright, now I don't know what my rival's levels are going to be, so let me check on that. Real quick, like, it shouldn't be much more than what it, um, what Giovanni was, that'd just be stupid. Okay, so his rival... His highest level is going to be a 53. Oh, what was his starter? I can't remember what his starter was. Actually, I think his starter was a Starmie, because I had Houdini at first. So I think I can do the rival battle. Let's go ahead and do the rival battle and then end this episode off. Same strategy as before. Blaziken up front. Sparks can come in and kill the Starmie. I have plenty of potions. Let's do this. Sup, Ray? Oh boy, please don't. I love my team. I'm gonna be very sad if you do. seeing you here. Um, just one, excuse me, I, I, I need to go. Please, uh, say hi to 2-Bit. <clears throat> wow, okay. <clears throat> My apologies for coughing into the mic, that was just unexpected. Anyone who knows me knows that I love Steelix. Pretty much any snake mom, but especially Steelix, and I I didn't expect him to have one. So. <sighs> Is this going to be a Volt Absorbing Blastoise? By any chance? Nope, it's not. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, Shelly, you're so thick. Oh. And you're smart. Always protect yourself. Always have protection. One of these games, Alex, I'm gonna have you. One of these games. <sighs> Explode. Uh, yeah, I'll go to um, Phoenix for that. Get some stab double kick. Oh my god, you have a full squad. I just want to get your ace out here because I know that that's going to be a level 53 Starmie and that'll be good for. Um, for two, uh, not for two bit, for sparks to handle. So as soon as you bring that out, I'll be happy. Just show me your Starmie. Play doll. Um, rock psychic, ground psychic, something. It, it's a something psychic. So we're gonna go for two bit because he can't get confused. We'll surf it. Especially now that it's powered up by the rain. I know that's not how it works, but that's how my mind works, so that's what we're going with. Goodbye, Clay Doll. Okay, there's the Starmie. So you bring me your two bit, I will bring you my sparks. Level 53. And I will thunder punch to the base. Right on that cute little gemstone when he hears. Ooh, so close. Mm. 
Mm. Swift is actually doing a decent amount of damage. Pelipper, I will stay in. This is perfect. Okay. Do you have any others, or was that your final one? Level 50, good for you. Alright, cool. No, I don't need more practice, Ray. I'm fine. I do need to go heal, though. So you're not totally wrong. Okay, in the door. Thank you. Okay, well, I am going to go ahead and cut this here because I went on a little longer than I planned. But I thank you guys for watching. When you see me next, I will be over at Indigo Plateau because I've already gotten my encounter there. That was uh, Terry, our Arbok. So, I will catch you guys soon. I'm very glad that I actually managed to beat Giovanni and the rival of this episode. So, progress. Next up is, I believe, Victory Road. Oh, that freaking puzzle. Ugh. Okay, well, anyway. And then there's another static in there I can get. Do I still have my Master Ball? Yes, I do. I have one more Master Ball left. So, if my static legendary is, in fact, a legendary, then I will go ahead and get it. If it's not, much sad, but it'll be alright. So, anyway, thank y'all for watching. Check out the links in the description for my entire playlist of the Leaf Green Soul Lock, as well as other Pokemon things that I've done. Um, I also have a Discord server. Consider joining that to become a loved one and just join us all for some good, clean fun. Not always clean, but you know, good fun, irregardless. Um, also, consider following me on Twitter for more updates on this game and others. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Catch you later.